I want to show you that low carb eating can be fun, easy, and it tastes amazing. If you're looking for a lifestyle that helps support your goal of weight loss and also to feel better, then maybe a low carb lifestyle is perfect for you. Not only does a low carb lifestyle have amazing health benefits for your gut health, metabolism, balancing blood sugar levels, giving you more energy, but it's also a lot easier to start than you might think. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be making today's video to show you just how easy, fun and delicious a low carb lifestyle can be. If you're new here, hi and thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Elle and I'm a twin mom to three month old Revy and Rue. They are super cute. Right now they're down for a nap, but if you do hear them cry in the background at some point, I'm sorry in advance. My husband is on nap duty right now. This is the only time that I have free to make this video and it's one that I have been so excited to share with you. And that's because before I was pregnant, I was following a keto diet. On my channel, I have so many videos documenting my keto lifestyle and showing you lots of recipes that I love to make. So if you're interested in keto, make sure you go and check those out. But once I became pregnant with our twins, I transitioned into a low carb lifestyle. And now that I'm breastfeeding, I'm still following a low carb diet. One day I'll go back to a keto lifestyle, but for now, this low carb way of living is working so well for me. I've received so many messages on Instagram since I transitioned into a low carb lifestyle asking how to start, where to begin, what kinds of foods to eat. And today I want to share everything with you so that you have a comprehensive guide on how to start yourself. I should add, if you are interested in a keto lifestyle, keep a watch on my channel. Make sure you've hit like and subscribe so you're updated with all new videos because I will have more videos on keto as I make that transition back there. But for now, today, it's all about low carb. I figured the best way to show my Instagram family exactly what I'm up to with this low carb lifestyle was to make today's video. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, make sure you come over, check it out, come say hi. I share lots on my Instagram, my day-to-day -day life, juggling mum life with Revy and Rue, and also just sharing lots of recipes and how I'm trying to balance an active, healthy lifestyle. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump in and begin this ultimate guide to low carb. When it comes to eating healthy, you can't go wrong if you're including things like healthy fats, proteins, leafy greens, and the right kind of carbs in your lifestyle. But not only is it important to choose the right carbs, it's also important to eat them in the right amount for you and your needs. No doubt you know that if you're wanting to overhaul your lifestyle, get healthier, then things like sugary drinks, candy, cookies, processed junk food, all of that stuff really needs to be kicked to the curb. Whole plant foods are not only the best choice for your body for feeling your healthiest, but it also has such an impact on your mental health and well-being too. I'm not going to lie to you. If you're used to eating things like pastries, sugary treats, junk food, then this transition is probably going to be a little bit challenging for you. Don't despair because there is a secret to making the adjustment a little bit easier. And that is making sure that you're eating protein and fat because not only will those things make you feel full and satisfied, it will also give you sustained energy throughout the day. Unlike the processed foods, which gives you kind of a sugar rush and then a sugar crash. That's why people's energy levels can bounce up and down. Whereas if you're eating healthy proteins and fats, your energy just kind of stays stable, which is amazing. Once you understand how the foods you eat affects your body, it does make it a bit easier to make the right choices that make you feel your best. I've already mentioned proteins and fats, but carbohydrates is the third macronutrient group that we need to talk about. Carbs supply the body with glucose, and this fuels our body. If you don't eat enough carbs, then your body will use fat for fuel, and that is the whole premise of a keto diet. As I've mentioned before, I absolutely love a keto lifestyle. My husband is currently following a keto diet and I'm doing the low carb approach. There are many reasons why keto isn't always the right choice for everyone. There might be a medical condition or it might be something that you're going through right now that just means that it's not quite the right fit for you. Whatever the reason is, that's why low carb is such a great alternative. 
All plant foods like vegetables, fruits, nuts, legumes, grains contain carbohydrates. This isn't a no carb approach, it's a low carb approach. And even keto is still considered, I guess, low carb, just very low carb. There are however no carbs in foods like meat, poultry, seafood. There's some carbohydrates and eggs, but not a whole lot that we should get bogged down with. Instead, these foods are rich in amino acids, which is necessary to repair and build our body tissue and to facilitate a bazillion chemical reactions in your body that basically keep you alive and functioning. You may have heard of carbs as being described as either simple or complex. The simplest carbs include things like glucose, fructose, and galactose. There are so many more. These kind of carbs are really found on their own in nature. They are found naturally in honey, milk, fruit, and they're also extracted from plants like cane sugar, sugar beet, and the sap of maple trees. Whereas complex carbs, things like vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds, and some grains contain starch and cellulose. The combination of the two helps to slow the digestion of those carbs because the body needs more time to process them due to the fiber content in those foods. When we eat glucose and digestible starches, our body instantly begins breaking those foods down so that by the time they reach the gut, they're ready to be absorbed into the bloodstream as glucose. Some of our cells use that glucose immediately, while our liver and muscles store that as glycogen so that it can be accessed at a later point in time and to be used then. However, our muscles and our liver do have a limit on how much glycogen they can store to be used at a later point in time. And when those stores are exceeded and there's too much, the rest just gets sent to our bodies to be stored as body fat. That's why eating too many carbs, more than what you need, day after day after day, means that your glycogen stores are totally full and the rest of it just gets stored as body fat. And that is why people effectively gain weight. What exactly does low carb mean? And how many carbs are we talking? I am all about specifics. I find numbers really, really helpful just to give me a better idea of where I kind of want to be aiming. And the thing with low carb is uh, there's not really a set specific. It's pretty broad. To make matters even more confusing, there actually isn't one accepted term for what low carb means. There's just no definition. We do know that if you eat a very low carb diet, that's anywhere from 20 grams of net carbs a day to 50 grams of net carbs a day, that's considered a keto diet. And once the keto diet sort of ends there, that's where low carb picks up. So it's anything past about 50 grams of net carbs a day all the way up to 130 grams of net carbs a day. Just to give you a general idea, low carb is anything less than about 26% of your overall energy intake. So that's approximately 50 grams of net carbs a day to about 130 grams of net carbs a day. A moderate carbohydrate diet is anything from about 26% to 45% of your total energy intake. So that's approximately 130 grams to 230 grams of net carbs a day. And a high carb diet is anything more than 46% of your total energy intake. So that's anything above about 230 grams of total carbohydrates. One of the great things about a low carb diet is its flexibility. And it can honestly look so different from person to person. And you can really customize it based on your individual needs, what you enjoy, and the foods that make you feel really good. One of the risk factors with a low carb lifestyle is the fact that you are still eating carbs. So it can be really tempting to choose the wrong kinds of carbohydrates because you know that you could just have a few of them. But what I have found personally is if I start eating junk food, I only crave more junk food. And that's why it's really important for me at least when I'm following a low carb lifestyle, maybe you're the same, is that I pick best source of carbs that make me feel really good. If you're ever in doubt, remember the best way to choose the best kind of carbs is to stay away from processed things and to choose things that are 
made from nature or as close to nature as possible. We'll go into this a little bit more, but the kinds of carbs you wanna be choosing are things like sweet potatoes, broccoli, spinach, legumes like chickpeas, lentils, and kidney beans, whole grains like oats and quinoa, and salad veggies like lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and fruits like berries and apples. It might be easier to see what your plate looks like, whether or not you're following a low carb, moderate, or high carb diet. Let's start off with a high carb plate. You've got 50% of your plate filled with grains, legumes, starchy veggies, or fruit. 25% of your plate is going to be made up of your protein. So that's your choice of meat, whether that's fish, eggs, dairy, or tofu, if you prefer that, or you're a vegetarian. You wanna leave 5% of your plate free for healthy fats. That's things like olive oil, nuts, avocado. And 20% of your plate is going to be filled with leafy greens, salad veggies, and herbs. On a moderate carb plate, you have about 35% of your plate filled with your grains, legumes, starchy veggies, fruit. 45% of your plate is going to be filled with leafy greens, salad veggies, and herbs. 25% of your plate is your meat or fish or eggs or dairy or tofu. 5% is your healthy fat source. And finally, the low carb plate. What's interesting about the low carb plate is your protein and your fat still don't change. You wanna make sure that 25% of your plate is filled up with your choice of protein, 5% for your healthy fat source, and 25% of your plate is filled with your grains, your legumes, your starchy veggies, your fruit, and 45% of your plate is your leafy salad greens, those kind of veggies, all of that good stuff. What's really interesting across all of these plates is that those two things don't change, your protein and your fat don't change, but what does get smaller is your carbohydrate intake and your leafy green salad veggies sauce as well. When it comes to looking at great low carb options, you don't have to overcomplicate it. There are some really good budget friendly low carb options that also pack a nutritional punch. Here are five to get you going. Lentils. Lentils are low in calories, they're rich in iron and folate, and they're an excellent source of protein and fiber. Two is sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are high in fiber, vitamin C, potassium, and magnesium. Just be sure to clean your sweet potatoes really well, and if possible, keep the skin on. Three is chickpeas. Chickpeas contain vitamin K, folate, zinc, and fiber. Number four is frozen berries. Fresh berries, if they're in season and they're affordable where you live, but where I live, they tend to be pretty expensive, except for a small part of the summer. So I tend to go for frozen berries, and they're still a fantastic nutritional source of everything you need. Frozen berries contain vitamins, potassium, antioxidants, fiber, and folate. And finally, number five is a low carb potato. Over the recent years, there has been this new version of potato that has been created, and this is a lower carb alternative that still has all of the nutritional goodness of a potato, but in a low carb form. When you're choosing this option, make sure that you keep the skin on again wherever possible. It just helps you to get in even more goodness. You might be wondering about how to go about starting a low carb lifestyle. And honestly, the easiest way for me to start was just by making some simple swaps and tweaks to the foods that I was currently eating. So try these swaps if you're wanting to start it out and just kind of dip your toe into a low carb lifestyle to see if it's for you. Honestly, I know these simple swaps might seem that basic and super, super easy that there's a catch. But I swear, making these small tweaks to your diet can honestly have such a massive impact. A massive impact on feeling less bloated, you can reduce your weight, you can just feel so much better by just making some simple tweaks. So here are some to get you started. Instead of white pasta, try using a pasta that's made from legumes. It normally is something like chickpeas or lentils that's advertised on the packet. Or you can use veggies in place of pasta. One of my favorite veggie alternatives to pasta is actually sauteed cabbage. I swear it's so good. You just cut cabbage into thin strips, a little bit of butter in the pan. It's honestly so good. 
or you could try something like zucchini noodles. Instead of white rice, try cauliflower rice, and this could be bought frozen, pre-prepared, or you can make your own from scratch. It's really easy to make. You literally just grate a cauliflower and that's it, you have cauliflower rice. Or alternatively, you could try substituting your white rice for something like brown rice or quinoa. Instead of a boiled potato, you could try a boiled sweet potato with the skin on or a low carb potato, again, with the skin on. And instead of white bread, choose a bread that's made from whole grains. There are lots of pre-made bread options available at the supermarket that are low carb now. And just by purchasing those, you can honestly save so many carbs and it can fit into your low carb lifestyle super easily. Because I'm such a visual person and I like to actually see what something is, I thought it would be helpful if I filmed my day on a plate so that you can get an idea of the kinds of foods that I eat while following a low carb lifestyle. So let's do it. For breakfast, I normally always have a granola bowl. These keep me feeling full and satisfied for hours. I do not need to eat again until lunchtime, which is so handy because number one, I don't really have the time to be making food all the time with my twins keeping me super busy. And number two, I'm always feeling so hungry normally with breastfeeding both babies. So I'm always looking for foods that are filling and the key to staying full for longer is your protein and your fat. So choose a high protein yogurt. Mine's an unsweetened yogurt because when they're sweetened or flavored, there tends to be added sugar and that bumps the carbs up. So just check the packet and see what the best option is for you. I pair my yogurt with a homemade compote. This is a strawberry rhubarb compote. It's actually keto friendly. I make a big batch at the start of the week and keep it in the fridge. My husband Dave uses it for him, his breakfast as well while following a keto diet and I use it for mine. The recipe for that compote is actually on my recipe app, Well Club. It's a low carb and keto recipe app. We have a seven day free trial if you wanna check it out. I'll leave a link to Well Club in the description box below. And that recipe is also available for free on my Instagram too so make sure you come over and say hi with my compote I then add in a low carb granola I just purchased my granola from the supermarket but again you can always make your own I have lots of recipes on my Instagram and on Wild Club and this is breakfast I normally don't have a lot of time again to put together lunch it's made super quickly when I get a moment free from the twins so lunch is a protein source and it tends to be something like canned salmon, canned tuna, something that's easy that I don't have to worry about heating, or if I have something like shredded chicken in the fridge, I can use that. Today for lunch, I'm using canned tuna with a little bit of lettuce, tomatoes, olives, and I'm pairing it with some quinoa as well as my carb sauce. For my snacks, I like to make myself a protein smoothie in the afternoon. My protein smoothie is super easy to make. I've showed it on other vlogs actually. I like to have a base of frozen berries. Berries for me are a great low carb and also keto friendly fruit. That kind of fruit when I have it just keeps my blood sugar level stable doesn't kick any cravings into overdrive. With my berries, I add in my favorite protein powder, and I also add in some unsweetened almond milk. And right now, I also add in a lactation supplement just because I'm breastfeeding, but I just blitz everything together. This also gives me a chance to add in anything else, like collagen and other kind of superfoods, and it's really yummy. Keeps me full again for ages, which is what I need, and helps me power through the afternoon. In the early evening, we do our bedtime and bath time routine with the twins, and I start to get really hungry by about this point. So I have another snack, which is either a handful of almonds. I love these almonds because they are a flavored almond. Again, they're keto friendly, but they work great for a low carb diet. They're really yummy to eat. And I also have some fresh veggies. Celery and carrot are my go-to with a bit of hummus. If you are super prepared, you can always make your own hummus from scratch, but for me, I'm sorry right now, I don't have a lot of time, so I am opting for options that are pre-made. For dinner, we like to keep it really simple, really fast, because we want to eat and get into bed to be up bright and early for the twins' first feed. So for dinner, I, if I'm making a World Club recipe, I choose one of the recipes that I can make together in 20 minutes. There are so many. Otherwise, it's just something simple like this, which is a some grilled meat, 
Tonight I'm having steak and I've paired it with collie mash and broccoli on the side. This kind of thing is honestly so easy and also really budget friendly, especially because I'm using, I used frozen cauliflower to make this cauliflower mash. So you can absolutely swap in frozen veggies or fresh veggies depending on the budget that you have and also seasonal availability. I personally have to always end the night with a little sweet treat. So tonight I am having a lights out latte. This is our sleepy time hot chocolate drink from Well Essentials, my supplement brand. This helps to take me off into a deep restful sleep until I am woken up by one of the twins. And I always have it with something else, just a little something else. Tonight I'm having a chocolate square with some peanut butter. Honestly, you don't have to go without, and that is something that I think is really important to know. If you are following a low carb lifestyle, don't think that you have to cut foods out, not have any sweet foods. You can absolutely have those foods and you should enjoy them because if you are eating foods that you love and enjoy, you'll stay consistent. And if you stay consistent with this for long enough, you'll be able to really see the benefits for yourself within your body, within your mental health, honestly. It's all a good thing. Low carb eating really doesn't have to be expensive or complicated, and it can 100% be super delicious too. Just remember to ditch or limit the processed refined carbohydrate foods. It can be difficult at first, but I promise you it's worth it. You will feel less bloated, you will have more energy, and you will not look back. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because the support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week, sharing my journey as a twin mom, balancing that, and also embracing a healthy, active lifestyle. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.